So this is like a very rough tutorial on the tree skip in Erie Cliffs for folks that want to do it. I'll be going over kind of when to jump off of the tree and kind of just general stuff that might help with it. Um, so the first time you enter the level, the cycle is a little bit different than the when you restart level on it. So just to kind of make it easier since I'm sure when you're practicing you're going to be doing a lot of restart leveling and even in like real-time runs I've just been restarting level at the beginning so I know what cycle it's on. So I'll just be talking about that cycle because we need to look a little bit into more on kind of what cycle, uh, what times the cycles are on and I'll explain kind of what that means as we go on but I'll kind of explain this in parts. So at the very beginning you're going to hold a bottom left angle like this. You kind of want to move right along this uh, bridge ladder wood thing and jump here. You're jumping towards a tree that's not visible until you land on it. So when we go down left... up, oh, I didn't even do my dash. <laughs> when you go down left, you won't see anything unless you jump too far to the side like that. <laughs> but if you um, jump inwards a little bit, You'll, this tree will pop into existence. Once you're on here, you might land a little bit closer to this side, the front side of it, but once you're on the, uh, the tree, you want to very carefully edge your way out um, until you're either gliding along it or kind of bouncing along it like this, and then bring yourself up to here. So you'll either, sometimes you glide along it, sometimes you jump along it. You just have to do it very carefully because if you don't do it carefully, um, you will bounce off like this part of the tree, that little bottom part of it, um, and it'll just kind of reflect you into the, the water there. So then after that, kind of like that, um, after that you want to move up the tree. So get to this point, you need to go right on this triangle right here and it'll kind of either slide you up or jump you up like that. But the hard part of it now is you see this branch right here. You can see it a little bit better if you move out over to this direction. Maybe look at the branch on the right here. Um, you want to walk along this angle you see right here, with the branches. Just walk along the edge of it, and you'll kind of jump. And if you don't already start to walk off the edge a little bit, because you'll, you'll feel yourself kind of going all the way to the top. Um, whoops, I accidentally did this get by accident. <laughs> so if you're doing this wrong, and you're not close enough to the edge, you'll just keep bouncing, even if you um, move around a little bit. You really want to follow the side of this all the way up until you feel yourself kind of jump like that. And now you're on the tip of the branch, or like the top of the branch. Um, and from there you want to go left and then come back so that you're on this sort of canopy here. So follow the angle of the branch until you kind of slide off the branch in the direction towards the camera and then pull back until you feel yourself jumping on top of this branch right here. Then after that you just go left and start to pull back and that gets you onto here. When you're jumping from here, so we're not on the right cycle for it so I don't know when these blocks are going to appear, but you're going to want to jump on this part of the tree and just kind of jump this way. So there's no block there because um, the cycle uh, of those disappearing blocks depends on the time that you're at. So the timings to know uh, of when you can jump off that part of the canopy is 11 seconds in, 17 seconds in, and 23 seconds in. Those are the three times you can jump off it. Anything after that just add six seconds to it and it roughly will give you the the time for it. So just to kind of show it off at full speed. So you'll see that tree's invisible until you jump onto it. Slowly edge your way out here. Go all the way onto this triangle, follow the slope of the branch till you jump onto here. Going. And then at 17 seconds ish, we're gonna jump onto here. Yep, see, like, it disappeared just a couple seconds later than that, so. We were just a little slow. Could have wait for 23 seconds in instead. So that's what I was talking about. If you go a little bit too fast, you bounce off the side of the branch there. That slide to here, the tree to appear, 
Yep. Get on the canopy, and then we're just gonna wait here for 17 seconds in. Jump off here. And then we'll just go through the level fairly normally. Um, do these little jumps here. If you get it on the right cycle, this will be appearing here and you can do a long jump there. You can also test your luck and uh, do a coyote jump off of the block on the left there and get all the way over to here. Um, but it just depends kind of how you feel. So I guess I can kind of show that unless I get hit by the thing coming here, but no, I can't show it off because it <laughs> went away. It's kind of hard to show it off the wrong direction, but yeah, you can like fall off that block just a little bit and then jump and you'll make that jump pretty easily. Same thing with on the, the right side when you're jumping onto the first invisible platform. So that's roughly how you do that tree skip. There's another one on the first level. Um, I guess I can go to that one as well. That one's got a little bit less going on with it, but I might as well pop onto it. Um, see if I have any helpful knowledge on that one. We'll see in the middle of <laughs> making the tutorial if I can find helpful information during it. So this tree skip works a little bit differently. You don't have to jump on any canopy or anything, and there's no cycles to keep in mind, so it's a little bit easier. And it's fairly forgiving. So... You don't have to immediately do something at the beginning other than just dash forward like normal. So I do, at the very beginning here, I do a long dash, short dash, and then I do a upright angle across to here and jump right before I get to this flat bit. We're aiming for that tree, not not the, not this one right here, but the one next to it. We're aiming for actually this rock right here. And once we get on this rock, we're actually sliding onto here. Your camera will start to clip inside of the tree, but um, let's see if I can get far enough down where you can kind of see me. There we go. Yep. Try not to go too far down so I don't die from the water, but uh, like that. But you see like the slope of the tree from there. You want to follow that as you go up. If you get close to the edge of the tree, it actually will start sliding you up. So you want to be sitting along that as you go. So um, let me just restart level so I have it the way I normally do it. So land, large, small, upright angle. Bounce on this rock. You want to keep going, but I slowed down for some reason. So follow the slope of the tree and then you'll start sliding up a little bit. I didn't really do it too well there, but let me go down a little bit and see if I can just... Yeah, there you go. You saw I like, kind of slid up because I was sitting right along the crease of the tree. So now you want to go up here. You want to jump from right on the tip of this right to the tip the, the bottom right here and then go across to that tree that you see in the bottom right there. So we go from one tree to another tree. So go like that. So this is, I guess I can show off the backup strat since I fell down by accident. So you want to not do that. So if you fall down here while you're doing this, you want to slowly go around the tree very slowly and you'll jump up there and then you just go up here and keep going but let me show off the proper way to jump across the angle is a little bit awkward for jumping across but once you get comfortable with it you can sometimes bounce off the tree once you jump from the rock which is a little bit annoying but ah, i just slid against it because i jumped off from the wrong angle i like to show off the the full jump across the tree correctly Go. That angle is going to work. Go, and then just jump across there. After you get here, dash into the cannon and then jump there. And then after that point, the camera is going to take a little bit to get to follow you. After you jump across this cannon right here, after you dash into it, you're, you're going to land around here. Um, as the camera is turning, just do little small dashes like this. If you do large dashes, or if you do like a, a large dash and then a small dash, or like a, a large jump and then a small jump, you do have a chance, like you saw there, I was going towards this pit right here. I've died before doing aisles of this by doing a long jump and then jumping straight into this pit. So just do little short hops while the camera's turning. And if you ever feel like you're kind of getting close to that edge there, um, just kind of slow down and let the camera whip back around. It's like a, you know, lose like a second, especially if you, especially if you're doing it 
full game run, it's fine to let the camera come with you. Obviously, if you're doing ILs, just go for it. If you fall in the pit, then pour one out to multi, I guess. So, let me try to do it one more time. Nice and clean. Large jump, small jump, large jump over here, follow the crease of the tree, go all the way up here, take a bit of a shallow angle towards the tree, hop along it, dash towards the cannon, short hop, short hop, sh short hop, short hop. There you go. You want to short hop the last time on the, the cliff before I got there. You don't really dash where I did, but I fell off the cliff, so. There you go. That's how you do the two tree skips and uh, spooky swamp for folks that hopefully that's helpful. At least having the inputs on the screen maybe is helpful while I'm doing it, but 